So, good morning guys, back on the road again. Just left that campsite. It was quite a pleasant place, nice people. And get this in the right gear, that's better. So today we're uh, aiming for Hook of Holland to complete the circuit. Whether we'll get there or not, I don't know, because it's forecast to rain, so we'll see. I would imagine my mileage is going to drop considerably if it starts raining, because I'm just going to get miserable and sulky and pedal slowly. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, that's a nice way to stretch the legs in the morning, uphill and cobbles. Oh. Yeah, it started to rain already. Spitting. Oh well, we'll see how we go. I'll catch up with you in a few minutes. So if I do manage to get to back to the Hook of Holland today, I'm going to treat myself to a hotel for a job well done. And if we don't get to the Hook of Holland today, I might treat myself to a hotel because I'll be soaking wet. Look at this. Lovely wet. Don't know how well you can see that. Yes, by the way, look at this. It's back. I've done a temporary bodge job on the, si on the side bag again. How long it'll last for, I have no idea. I strapped it on there as best as I could with all sorts of things, string and strapping, and tied it as tight as I could. And I've only put some light stuff inside it. and uh, it's riding all right at the moment knowing the way i bodge things up it won't last long but we'll see oh the sky's looking gray up in front yeah i'm gonna get wet oh well i better put the camera away before it gets water in it catch you later well i had to do uh, one day of riding in the wet i suppose it's just started to come down a bit heavier. Yeah, I'm just going to make some miles. If it stops raining, I'll bring you back then. Or if there's anything really, really interesting. It's uh, just like my bright jacket. Uh, you can tell I haven't worn this much. Anyhow. Right. I'm going to make my way and uh, I'll catch you guys later when it stops raining. I suppose at least once you're wet once, you can't get wet again. Oh, I'm still smiling, honest. Ugh. I'm just about to head out on the first of the southern dikes. No shelter out there. Oh, I'm already wet anyhow, or as wet as I'm going to get. Lovely views today.
Well, I'm onto the second dike. And as you can see, it stopped raining, just kind of spitting a little bit. Dry enough to get the camera out, you know. If you can hear me in the wind, it's blowing quite strong. Uh, it's been pretty miserable. I've been on the road probably two, yeah, I think about two hours now. And it rained almost as soon as I left the camping site. And going over the first dike, well, you saw, it absolutely threw it down. The waterproof didn't stay waterproof very long. I think every item that I'm wearing is soaked right through to the underwear. I'm cold. So I'm just keeping the legs going to keep some warmth in my body. If this light drizzle stops in a minute, I shall stop and get changed. I've got some dry dry things in the bags, so uh, yeah, hopefully it's going to dry out now and uh, then I can get changed into something warmer. On a brighter note, I've got about 60 kilometres to go to get to Hook of Holland. So I'm uh, pushing for that today. And, uh, yeah, I just booked the hotel, so no stopping till I get there. At least I'll have somewhere warm and dry and comfortable to sleep tonight. Oh. It's quite hard work pushing against this wind. It's dead flat, but windy. Right, I'll catch up with you again in a bit. Meanwhile, I'll leave you with a view. raining. As you saw I got thoroughly soaked right through but uh, since it stopped I've just found a little underpass, got changed. You know, oh, my feet are lovely and warm now. Oh I can feel the warmth of those lovely dry socks. I just hope it doesn't rain anymore. It would get a lot more wet. It wouldn't be very good would it? skies are still a bit grey but the sun's trying to come out and the forecast says that there's no more so oh what's this I've got to go up here you're joking look at this right I'm going to check this out before we go any further I don't want to take my bike on mud today So yeah, indeed, that, that route, that route is another Google stitch up, so we're not going that way, we're going back the way I came, to the little underpass where I just got changed, and got the other side of this main road, where there appears to be a proper cycle path. Damn you Google. Anyhow. Such a bad day now. I can say hopefully there's no more rain. It's not forecast to be. And uh, I've got about another 50 kilometres to do, I think. And in that includes a ferry. Yeah, I've got a ferry ride across one of the uh, estuaries near Rotterdam. I don't know what it's called. But find out later I suppose. Feeling good today. It's uh, 
legs are nice and strong. I've been chucking, even though it's been raining and miserable, I've been chugging the kilometres away. I've been listening to the radio and uh, yeah, it's flying by. It's really good. Getting a bit hungry now, though I might have to stop for something to eat in a bit. Find something to eat. But I'm sure there'll be something coming up. Here's the little flyover that I got changed in. Just got changed under there. So I can keep my stuff as dry as I could on the dry ground underneath there. Right, and here's the way that the Google didn't show. See, lovely tarmac bike path, and Google wants me to go up the mud. No. Oh. Oh, it was worth going back on myself just that little bit. I've no idea how far that mud was going to go on for. This bike path goes on for miles, I've just checked it on the map. So. Finally on the northernmost dike, the last one for today. These big gates to hold the tide back beside me. It's a shame it's not drone flying weather. It would have been good to have got some drones over this, but I think you can probably hear the wind is uh, really quite strong. No, I'm not going to get the drone out. Not today, unfortunately. on land and uh, short 20 or 30 K over to Rotterdam.
Well, the sun's come out a bit. Warming up now. Just heard a rumble of thunder in the distance though, so hope there aren't more storms around. Well, certainly not before I get to my hotel, anyway. Oh. Well, hopefully, as you just saw, I managed to get the drone up. There's a big row of poplar trees behind me. They gave a bit of shelter from the wind, so I thought, yeah, take it for a little fly. I haven't done a lot else with the cameras today, so hopefully you enjoyed that a little bit. I did. Good fun flying. Oh, excuse me, getting a bit of energy. <coughs> I think I've still got about 25k to go. And it just struck me back there a few minutes ago, 25k to go, and then that's it. This time next week I'll be back sitting in my office and, and it'll be over. It's quite upsetting really. At least I'll have the memories. It's one hell of an experience. It really has been fantastic. But yeah, it's soon going to be over. But not yet. Still got 25k more to do. Better get on and do them. I shall see you in a bit. Rotterdam and just wait for this ferry now, which is just coming. It's just there. Look. So that didn't take long. Don't know how much this is going to cost. Might be a free one again. That would be good, wouldn't it? Oh no, it's not free. One euro thirty. I should just follow the other side, I guess, because I have a clue where. It's As it just starts to spit with rain again, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the cycling bit. I've just got this last couple of kilometres to do through built up suburbs of Rotterdam, into the Hook of Holland, and to my hotel. I'm going to miss it a lot. I really am. I have enjoyed it thoroughly. Anyway, that's that. I shall uh, bring you back when I get to the hotel. And uh, just to say goodbye for the day. Tomorrow I'm hoping to go and visit The Hague. Either be tomorrow or the day after. I'm going to meet up with young Tice again give him his drone back, have a coffee and a chat. Anyway, I'll see you at the hotel.
So, that's it. Um, 54 miles done. And there's another 90 kilometers. The wettest 90 kilometers I've done. But there we go. We got through it. So the weather forecast is for wind and rain for the next three to four days. So that's why I made my way back to the Hook of Holland. I didn't fancy cycling around Zealand. One day of wet was enough today. I've got two days before I get on the ferry. I think I'm just gonna relax. I don't think I'm gonna be doing uh, any filming unless I see something really special. I'm gonna meet Tice two days time, give him back his drone. And then I'm off back to the UK. Next time you guys see me in a video, well, I'll probably be in the UK. I've got uh, videos now to do of all my kit, kit reviews. I'm gonna do a review of Trini, the trike, as well as it's gonna be some day trips and some weekends out on the trike. And coming up later in the year, I've got another two big trips coming up this year. Um, more details about those later because they're still just in the planning phase. But yeah, plenty more to come, so um, stick with it. So, yeah, that's it. That really is it. Um, final signing off. There's a relive to come in a moment, you can watch that. And there's a little something else after the relive as well, so stay tuned for that. That's it. I'm off. Take care and see you next time. Cheers. Bye bye. Till we'll get